Yeah, hi guys, short video here about my new Wi-Fi smart timer for my pool pump. Here I have it already installed and that's the thing in the box. The idea was to have possibility to turn it on and off from the pool cage or even the remote while I'm on vacation. If I see that the water level is too low. Yeah, so I turn the camera around. You can see how it's installed. I didn't install. I had an electrician installing this here for me of course we have an extra housing in the packaging if you need that would be the proper installation idea so here's my old pool timer which was exactly here and first of course the idea was to put the box somewhere here but i'm not a big fan of having multiple boxes on previous homes i had already installations with like a box after box after box nobody wanted to replace the old stuff they just added new boxes so i prefer it rather clean so the electrician removed this cover here and put this here inside i mean it's not screwed there is no real proper mounting for this also the bracket here doesn't fit properly you can see it's even a little bit leaning so it's not perfectly attached but it's nicely holding here by this cover plate and i can do everything what i want and it definitely works you can hear it's very quiet the pool pump on the side definitely not working so i can easily just turn it on here either with the push button or use the app or even use like Google. By the way, when you long press here for a couple of seconds, it starts blinking. And then you can add it for the smart home app. Probably also works for Tuya because they are pretty much the same. Here I have it. I have named it Pool Pump. And so I can use it with Google and just say, for example, hey Google, turn on Pool Pump. Okay, I hope you heard that. And of course I can also stop it or I can just stop it here again. Yeah, very convenient. I have all the options now. When we go into the details, we can see we have also power on, power off here. By the way, here in the overview, we don't have a power on, power off. We have even some support information. We have also some timer, which I'm using. It turns on automatically in the morning, 8 o'clock, turns off 5 o'clock p.m. We have also countdown options. I don't know why we would need that for a pool. Then something called circulate. Then this random thing, also not something which I'm planning to do for a pool pump. And then we have this thing which we can use to adjust to turn on according to sunset and sunrise. That could be something because usually we have to let it run longer in summer than in the winter. Maybe I'll use that in the future. That could be a really nice thing. So that's the timer. We also have this setting. We have a switch lock. I hope you can see that. So it has been turning on and off exactly to my schedule. Here you can see 5 p.m. turning off. Then I've been using manual switch on and off because I've been cleaning the pool filter and it's turned on in the morning today at 8 a.m. And now these are the things which I've been doing during the video. And there's a relay status. I don't even know what that really means. But it's definitely sufficient regarding the app. Yeah, we get also a sticker. I've put the information here. That's more a specs. Model says T40W. What I just noticed here is that it says it's one horsepower with 120 volts, two horsepower with 240 volts. I think I didn't really notice that. I just wanted to buy one which is for two horsepower, but it looks like it's only working with 240 volts, unfortunately. But at the moment, I'm using just one with one horsepower, so I'm good with that. But if for whatever reason I switch to a stronger pump, for example, if I put solar panels on the roof, then I probably have to replace this tile timer here unfortunately at least that's my understanding i'm not an electrician but i think that's the case here maybe question which you could have here regarding this round thing that's not a button itself that's also not something to turn it's just like 
decoration as far as I understand. But other than that, definitely works for me. It's super convenient to have this thing here and connected to Wi-Fi. By the way, this is an update after pretty much one year and you can see it's working still very reliable. Here on the side we have the 1.65 horsepower pump which is consuming a little bit more than 1500 watts and it turns on automatically every day in the morning based on the schedule which I've added in the app and then turns off in the evening also based on the schedule. Sometimes I also change this manually when it's needed. For example, after adding some chemicals in the pool, I think in total it has failed to start only about one or two times in the whole time. I used it also during a three weeks vacation and didn't have any problem at all. The only thing is when you have it like in such a metal box here, then it limits of course the Wi-Fi reception. That's the only thing which you have to be aware of. I mean, I have it here also outside of a concrete wall. There's a Wi-Fi router inside, which is maybe 25 feet away or so. And the Wi-Fi reception is a little bit limited then because of this construction. So it'd be definitely better to install it with the plastic housing. But it really works even long term. I'm really surprised about the good reliability. So I would say full recommendation from my side. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and or the one for you if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments or want to share your own experience with this time, then just let us know down in the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.